The city is starting to grow and it's more than time that we have a rail network or a train network in our map. As you know, uh, and as I mentioned in the first episode, this map didn't come with a train network, so we don't have rail lines, we don't have means to add some uh, public transportation uh, using trains that goes actually outside of the city, especially cargo trains and all that stuff. But this episode will change that. So the goal for today is that we actually get a train network going and working in our favor. And I think we uh, this episode was also recorded on a live stream. So if you haven't already, please check it out. I usually stream two to three times a week. Uh, it's usually at night, almost right at standard time, and uh, please check that out when you see me online. And before we get into the train, I just want to take a look at the ground level here at the park that we built on our previous episode, and I'm really happy with how this is all looking. As I mentioned before, I am told that I might have overdone the trees in here, but when you actually look from the ground level, I have exactly what I wanted, and which is a very secluded area, a lot of trees in there, a place where you can go and forget about life and just rest a little bit and feels like you are nowhere near a city. And I know that we have some trees here on the road, but I think in parks like this, they usually work with the pathways around those trees. And I have places near where I live that are exactly like that. And I'm quite happy with that. So back into the main goal here for our episode, we are building our uh, rail line. You see that I'll uh, move or make the train line go above every road that we have but don't worry about that uh, most not all <laughs> pay attention to that that's very important most of our uh these roads i uh, will fix along the the episode i won't show everything on screen here if you want to take a look at every single thing that i did on this episode please do check the live stream and that's recorded and saved on my channel as well and you you see how that looks now i'm doing the other side so i went all the way to the end of the map at the top of the map there so we have an external connection and i'm doing the same thing to the bottom and now i'm finishing the connection with the main part of the city now the next thing that we need to do now that we have line connection to the outside of the map is to actually uh, make sure that we don't have all these crossings over roads here and what i'm doing is i'm sinking the rail line in there so it goes underneath the the highway i was thinking about moving the whole highway but i think the highway came first so it will be a little bit more realistic to get the um, um the train lines go really underground but underneath the roads there and just changing those roads into grids and then what i will do i'll give it plenty of space for the train and uh, it will go slowly down as you can see there and this is more than enough for the trains to get through that area so i'm just using the uh, movie tool for uh, the sloping and they will grab all the nodes that we selected and slope that evenly across all the items so there you go and it just makes our life a lot easier now that we uh, do have all 
these areas done let's just make sure that the train can actually get underneath those bridges without hitting anything and this is going really well so yeah this is all works quite nicely and we can keep going with our business i would say now there is one more connection missing here which is the connection to the right side of the map uh just pay attention that i'm not connecting the, the bay area yet because there'll be the let's call it the fancy area of the city and there'll be some work that i'll do later on but we do need another connection here or at least i want to connect on these three sides of the map as we do have the highway connections there uh, that is one highway connection we seen still which is to the south of the map or to the bottom from where we are looking at the moment but this uh, we also need I, I also wanted to do the train connection over there so I'm slowly branching out from the main network there I will connect it over here uh, I don't know if you noticed there was an error message coming up that's completely normal I'm using a mod to be able to connect to the outside of the city and that actually uh, I don't know why but every time I connect it to the outside I get that error and then after a couple of minutes sometimes like a couple of seconds the connection is established and everything starts working as you can see we have trains coming around so that's all working and I don't need to worry too much about that I would say But now I'm connecting to the other side. I Another thing to uh, keep an eye on here is that I just connected this going in one direction. We might do it on the other direction as well later on. But for now I'm happy with this because I want the trains to go into that direction. And I'm just making sure that they all go where I went. So I don't see any reason why we wouldn't want it to go to the left side here and or to the top of the screen now and get out of the city. It's very close to the edge of the map as well in there. So I don't see any point in doing this at this moment. But I think this all works for me and we might change that later on. Let's see. But uh, at the moment, I'm really happy with how this looks so just making the connection there to the outside of the map and to be able to see that error message again and there we go and all good and it will take like a couple of minutes and the connection will establish and the trains will start working so that's all working another thing to keep in mind here while i build the stations why do i have two lines in there two uh train lines or rail uh, lines on the floor so I mainly want to use the one on the left for cargo and the one on the right for passengers and that one on the right will be only used for passengers that go outside of the city and or bring the passengers from the outside to the inside of the city the reason why, uh, if you haven't watched my previous series on City Skylines, the traffic on when you mix everything, so when you mix cargo, when you mix um, passenger intercity trains and local city trains, the traffic just gets like a nightmare. And it's really hard to to manage and you get a lot of issues with that so your train network won't work as well as possible as i work with the despawning turn uh, off which means that trains and cars will get stuck on traffic basically forever until they reach their destination i have to make sure that this all works as good as possible and that's my intention here and that's what I'm trying to achieve. So this means that we have a lot of uh, 
lines crossing each other like this going on a bridge and coming on the other side. I usually have these closer to stations because the train will be uh, slow already and they don't need to keep like going up a hill and downhill and keep crossing all the the lines there but what I want to do is give them plenty of space and make sure that they fit underneath as well as you can see but I want to give them space if we have more than one train waiting so they have plenty of space to get around and they can also completely bypass the station if they're not stopping here um, now we are finishing the connection on the other side so going to the south there and which is actually i have to make this a rule and a correct rule because the north should be the bay and the right side here is south which means that down there is uh west and up is east but this is getting a mess and this doesn't make any sense as well so anyway we have two stations there one on the left will be working for intercity trains and i don't know if that's gonna work to be honest i saw a train coming in so i think it's working this is actually a light rail station which is interesting i don't know if a train will work in there but i do saw a train coming in so i'm not sure i'll keep an eye on that make sure that this is working otherwise we might need to change that station but we also have the option there for intercity trains and yeah i don't see why that wouldn't work so i'm i'm happy with that it's a small station it's i think it fits in the area i think it uh, goes well with the low density that we have here i just need to move all this to the right side there because i want to give them more space actually i want the line to have a better curve and connect to the main road there and on the left side i wouldn't have the space that i wanted if i would do that so i'm just making that connection now and again making it a nice slope giving uh, the trains a lot of time to actually move around and find their way so we don't get stuck and yeah i think that's this is turning out quite well and exactly what i wanted it to be so this other station here will be the uh, station that will we we'll use to link the um, uh, just the city trains so everything that goes throughout our map they will connect on this line which will be completely uh, excluded from the the intercity main line there and we won't be able to have trains that go outside of the city in in this line so that's the main goal i just have to keep in mind because during the recording of the live stream i did connect it to the wrong place but i i i saw that and i fix it when when i figured it out now you obviously need road connection to those stations and water so we are fixing this right now and this is almost done we just need to actually create the line and connect these two stations so i don't expect to see a lot of people using it at the moment but i quite like it i just need to make those uh bridges there elevated so it looks right and but yeah for for this moment i don't expect too many people using it but this will start forming our train network in the city and we'll start to work on our public transportation that'll make all these come together and work much better so last thing here i just want to put those gazebos because we level up throughout this episode and we are now a level three uh, park 
So I just hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.